Aaron, he had been tough on you guys in the past, but what made Bassett so tough tonight? Uh, yeah, I thought he was really good. Unpredictable. Um, you know, he's got so many pitches, and, and it's hard to really get a beat on what he's doing. And then on top of it, he was really executing tonight, slowing us down with the big slow curveball that he was painting with, you know, you know, pitching up and down a little bit, sinker. Um, I thought he, I thought he was, you know, he was he was tough tonight. Gomez toiled in the minors for a long time, waiting for this opportunity. What's your first impression? Really good. Um, excited to get him in there. Um, it was it was fun to see his excitement coming in off uh, after that first inning. I'm like, hey, you're going back out. He's like, yeah, yeah, okay. And uh, but I thought he threw the ball well. What four strikeouts there in two innings? Um, I thought I thought did a pretty good job of executing, especially with his fastball at the top of the strike zone. So um, you know. He, he's he, for a young player. He's been through a lot, you know. Had had his injury ups and downs, and um, but he's he's definitely a guy with a lot of talent and somebody we're excited about. So it's good to get him in there and good to ha see him have success. Were you at all surprised how calm he seemed on the mound? Not really. I mean, that's you know he's he's kind of showed us that he's a really good competitor, but he's also got that kind of. You know, we brought him over, I think, late in the spring. I think he pitched an outing for us in kind of an important game, and he seemed to have that same kind of calm to him. Um, but everything points to him being a good competitor, too. So um, good to get him up here and, and good to have him go in and have some success against that lineup. Aaron, what's the potential benefit for a guy like that getting even, you know, let's say he doesn't pitch at all this weekend in right. Kansas City, but just a, a taste of big yeah, I think I think it's it's all part of it. It's all important. It all matters, you know. Um, you know, you go through a lot in this game, ups and downs, and and you got to learn from all of it. So to be up here, to be with some guys, you know, some of the younger guys that he is familiar with, but also to be around, you know, some of the veteran guys and see how guys go about it and approach things, um, all part of the development process. You got used a lot of players this year. Uh, you feel pretty good about the farm system. You guys trade away a lot of depth in past years, but mm -hmm. a lot of guys have come up and shut something. Yeah, I think so. And, and you know, I, there's another layer of guys, too, um, you know, especially on the pitching front, um, you know, potential starters, you know, relievers kind of in that double-A, triple-A mix that we feel like there's a lot of potential with, too. And you could start to see some guys popping on the 40-man and stuff like that. So, um, and, you know, Obviously not a typical year, and, and we're able to get, um, you know, a couple more guys than we otherwise would, you know, some real experience here towards the end. What kind, what pitches did Weaver give up the home runs on? Were they all the same, different ones? Uh, looked like a cutter to um, to Varsho, and then I don't know if it was a cutter, just a four seam, or a cutter that just kind of stayed there. It didn't, I don't think he got it up enough. To where he wanted to against Chapman, and he, he kind of caught it. So I, I think the first one he was trying to backdoor cutter. I don't know if the second one was a four seam or a cutter. Are you anticipating having Montas from Middleton in Kansas City with you? Yeah, possibly, possibly both. Um, uh, so we'll yeah, we'll see.